Today we are back with another tier list. We've got every single Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track ranked and this includes all the DLCs. The reason why I'm doing this one is because I've done a couple of Mario Kart streams previously and I'm going to do another one the first Monday after this comes out. So this Monday coming up I'm going to do another Mario Kart stream. I've just been enjoying playing it quite a bit in recent times so I thought why not rank all the maps. I was going to do all the... All the um, I was going to do every single cup but i've decided to just do every single track because obviously you know you can play some of them online and things and um yeah so that's why i've done it this way we've got six tiers this is not one i've made myself um so i'm trusting that everyone is every single track is in here um but we've got s to f uh, all lettered a bit different to how usually when i make my own tier list i have like different descriptors and whatever but we're just using this one and i'm quite looking forward to going through discussing a few of these and uh yeah just seeing how we get on um but yeah without further ado let's just go straight into it and we'll start at the beginning with mario kart stadium and this is the mario kart stadium from the nintendo switch uh, and i think that just goes straight into c it's the most bang average track usually the mario kart stadium ones are there's usually one in every sort of every iteration of the game there's a mario circuit mario kart stadium you know that kind of that kind of vibe um and i think this is the most sort of meh like race i think uh, and next we've got water park uh, and i think it's the same i think it's just kind of bang average nothing too exciting about it nothing too it's not it's not egregiously bad or anything like that it's just fine it's a it's a standard map uh, we go into Sweet Sweet Canyon, which I'm going to put in B. Um, I do like this map, I just track quite a lot. Um, but again, there's, there's some which I think the ones that are going to go higher, they're just ones obviously that I like. Just, there are just some I like more, and you know that, and all that are more sort of unique. You know, we've had a few sort of dessert-related ones in, in in the past, or at least on you know battles and things like that. So it's not necessarily uh, the most unique kind of kind of map. But that's what we're going with there. And again, Thwomp Ruins is again not bad in any way. Um, it's just fine. Um, I don't really know what order to do this in. We could just go from left to right, left to right, left to right, the whole way down. Um, unless I see any that really stand out. And one that does quite stand out to me. I've already lost it. Um, I, here it is. Yoshi Valley S tier map. Uh, S tier track it's just goaded it's it's sick it's um it's one of the best ones and i think the same with baby park goes in s tier easily um and i'm sticking with them they're going in there uh i just love them both i think i remember playing this i remember playing both of these on the original consoles my dad uh, when we were growing up had a nintendo 64 um and we had a gamecube as well double dash um but these the, the remakes are, are good as well so that's why they're going as high as they are uh, and another one that i think deserves s tier is coconut mall from the wii um it's goaded right it's uh you know the the soundtrack of it is is sick um and it became a bit of a meme and that's why i think it goes as high as it does um and i'm just looking you know the ones that i'm picking out that i see and i'm like immediately i know exactly where this is going to go for example rainbow road from the switch uh, is going to go in d um i think it's not awful awful but it's not it's by nowhere near the best rainbow road map it's just kind of average at best in terms of rainbow roads um but i think all of the rainbow roads that are on the rest of the list go higher than it i think it's the worst of worst of the ones in this list on this game but i don't think it's necessarily egregiously bad uh, i just don't think it's anything particularly exciting at all um so speaking of rainbow rose i think the snes one goes into um into uh c i think it's a product of its time really it's very basic obviously but with it with the new sort of mechanics like the you know the jumping and things they had like ripple effects on the roads and things like that and i just think um i find this rainbow road from the switch to be more annoying than than the one from the snes that's why it goes where it is um and looking at all of these and seeing how many there are my mind's a bit scatterbrained as to where exactly 
to look at and to target uh, next in terms of sort of um, you know races but Mushroom Gorge A tier um, a lot of the Wii ones are going to go quite high Wii Rainbow Road is easily S tier um, Donkey Kong Mountain from the GameCube is A tier um, and Cooper Cape again A tier I think all the Wii ones are going to be pretty high because they're, the, the remakes of the Wii ones are fun but the Wii, the Wii maps are great uh, I don't think there's going to be any that are like bottom tier unless I go out of my way to make them bottom tier uh, just to have some in each um, Mario Circuit again bog standard it's probably actually I saw another Mario Circuit which was a, a Game Boy Advance remake which actually I think goes below it I think the Mario Circuit that they implemented into this game is better Toad Harbor is going to go very low for me it's just not that interesting in any way shape or form I'm actually going to put it E it might seem a bit harsh um, looking down the list again Sunshine Airport boring map in my opinion um, as is Cheeseland, just don't rate it. I think they're all pretty comfortable being and I think Cheap Cheap Beach, D. And like I said, I'm just picking them out and seeing immediately where do I put them. Uh, dry, dry Bone Dunes, forgettable. Um, Moomoo Meadows. And the reason why I'm putting these where I'm putting them is because I don't have a lot to say about some of them. Um, I think Ribbon Road is maybe not that high. Ribbon Road is, is good and um, you know as I re-correct re all of these tiers I'll discuss each one uh, individually as well and I think Rainbow Road for the N64 um, it goes in B. The thing I like about Rainbow Road in, in, on the N64 <laughs> was it was just ridiculously long so the way it's split up on uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is uh, it's one lap but three segments whereas in the original N64 Rainbow Road it was three laps and also really fucking long and it was just absolutely mental um, it's just crazy uh, and it took ages to, to do it um, Rain Yoshi Circuit uh, B again I think that's a very solid race I think um, don't see anything necessarily wrong with that race at all thing is I'm going to put Electrodome in D because I don't remember. I don't. It's not. It's not memorable to me in any way. Um, Mount Wario is another one where it's three segments rather than three laps. I really like Mount Wario. That's going to be, go quite high, and that is an original map uh, track, so that goes quite high. Twisted Mansion, very box standard once again. Shy Guy Falls is another one. I think that this C tier is going to be very. It's it's going to be highly concentrated in this C tier purely because. There's a lot of races that are like fine, but nothing too exciting. Um, there's no like amazing sort of theme to it or anything. It's just very standard. It's decent. Um, and that's just going to be, that's just going to be, you know, sort of how it is um, with, with a lot of, a lot of races, just because um, that's just where it's, it's another one. Dolphin Shoals is, it's just okay. Nothing too, nothing too special about that. Cloud Top Cruise, I am going to put one higher. I do really like this. I like the the bit near the end where you're um, going through and there's like the lightning going on each of the boost pads and it's alternating as you as you go along. I really like that. Um, so I think that deserves to maybe be a little bit higher than just bang average. It's got a bit more to it. Uh, the Bowser's Castle from the Switch is also going to go in B. It's just very solid. But it's not like amazing, outstanding. It's 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 a good Bowser's Castle. Um, there is another Bowser's Castle if I can see it. Bowser's Castle Three, which I am actually going to put in A, because I like. It's again, it's a similar sort of idea as as Rainbow Road from the SNES, whereas it have taken a very basic map uh, and and from an old school game and they've you know updated it for the new mechanics but i just think the way they've updated the bowser's castle 3 makes it a very enjoyable map and you can get some pretty crazy drifts going around and um i just think that kind of makes it a good ver a better version i prefer playing bowser's castle 3 to the bowser's castle from the switch uh, and looking at uh, dk jungle i think is another solid race i just don't think it's as good as dk mountain uh, so i'm going to put it in b 
Toe to Turnpike, I fucking hate this one with a passion. I hated it on Nintendo 64. And I hate it on this, and it's nothing to do with the fact that I don't. You know, every, like people that have watched the channel and watched me play Mario Kart, and also friends and stuff. No, I'm not a big fan of, of Toad. I think he's kind of a shitty character myself. It's nothing to do with that. It's not not anything to do with the fact that, that Toad's on it or whatever. Um, however, it's just not for me. It really isn't. The traffic just does my head in. It's not actually like that exciting. There is another one on here which I can't see off the top of my head. Um, Shroom Ridge, which will go into um, E because there's traffic on there, it's just less concentrated and less annoying. But it's still, uh, I think the traffic just kind of does my absolute fucking head in, um, and that's why it's going to go as low as it does purely because of the traffic. And again, we've got Mario Circuit um, from the Switch here in C, Mario Circuit 3 from the SNES uh, is going to go in D. As is, if I can find it, Mario Circuit from DS. They're just not as good. Um, I think this is one of the better iterations of Mario Circuit, the one from the Switch. I just don't think these have got anything interesting too much about them. They're just very standard. Like, they're almost like go-karting tracks. Um, Wild Woods is very solid map. Uh, map. I enjoy playing that on a lot. Uh, and I think Donut Plains 3 has the same sort of... Um, thing behind it as, as Mario Circuits do. They're just not that exciting. Again, once again, same idea with Royal Raceway. It's just it's just a average map at best. Waluigi Pinball goes into A tier. Bang a map. Absolute sick. It's it's very good. And TikTok Clock goes into B. Um, I do really like actually a lot of the races from the DS, 3DS and Wii. Like those three games. Um, the GameCube was always fun. Um, I enjoyed them a lot, but I think the the DS, 3DS, and Wii have some really solid, solid races in them. Um, Daisy Circuit is not necessarily one of them. I'm going to put it in the same as Mario Circuits. Um, I just don't think it deserves to be any higher than that, really. Uh, and I don't necessarily think. I'm just thinking back to what I was saying earlier about those three games. A lot of the ones with the the SNES and the Game Boy Advance races. And to an extent, the N64 races, but I'm not allowing that for, you know, obviously we've got um, Yoshi Valley and Bowser's Castle that are quite high. But for the sort of, for in the main, for the um, for the Game Boy and the SNES races, they didn't really do enough to them to make them more exciting. They're just kind of, like Sunset Wilds is, is going to go in there and Boo Lake is going to go in there because I just don't rate them particularly highly. Um, Sky Garden again it's 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 fine it's a fine race it's not as good as Cloud Top Cruise though I'm going to put it in in uh, in C because it's just fine I do like the bouncing mushrooms as well which is one of the things I do really like about Mushroom Gorge that I find really fun is the bouncing mushrooms um, but again it just doesn't feel like they've done quite enough to make it a very exciting um, track to race um, what are we going to look at next? 3DS Rainbow Road, not as good as the Wii Rainbow Road, but better than the others. I think that definitely deserves A. DK Summit is another one that I think deserves A. I think what I was saying about DK Mountain is my favourite like DK themed map. DK Summit is very similar in the sense you, you know you get launched out of a cannon to the top of like a mountain um, and you make your way down. This one it has snowboarding shy guys that kind of can block you and, and get in your way and things like that and this one has um boulders that roll down um but I, th I think that just has a bit more i like the sort of theming i like the th the, the the theming of of the, the dk mountain obviously because he's a he's an ape who lives in a jungle so um it's got that theme in there and the exploding volcano that's that's throwing the boulders down the mountain as well as the theme the the song the the, the soundtrack to that to that race is 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 very good far better than dk summit and certainly far better than dk jungle but i think dk summit is another one that i think i i, I would personally put above dk jungle i think they're all solid though um excited bike arena i think gets another b it's it's a very quick race very quick track it's a very standard track but i think it just has a bit more to it than um i just find it more fun to play than 
these ones it, it goes right at the bottom of b that's for certain but i think it, it is just more fun than um than, than the ones that are in c uh we'll go with ninja hideaway next because i think that's a very standard b i don't see that going anywhere other than b really um moon moon view highway is another one that has traffic in which does my fucking head in um that that one also has bomb cars which don't even get me started don't even get me started um i think we're gonna put peach gardens in d very standard again and i saw when did i see it have i already put it in? oh daisy circuit's already in there um the next one, which I'm, I think is also going to go in D, is uh, oh, flipping neck, Calamari Desert from Nintendo 64. Uh, I don't think that deserves really to go any higher. Wario Stadium is not as good as. There's a Wario Stadium or Waluigi Stadium or something from a different game, which is far better. What? Waluigi Stadium from GameCube. That's better. That's a B. And then Wario Stadium, I think, is a C. I think the Waluigi one is better, in my opinion. Um, which is obviously all this is. But I think that deserves to go ahead of Wario Stadium from the DS. I don't think that's as exciting as... as I don't think it's as, as exciting as, as the Waluigi one. We're going to put Toad Circuit again... Uh, I th does it go with, yeah, it goes with the, the majority of the, it goes with, you know, Mario circuits and Donut Plains. I think it's just a very standard circuit race. Um, and I don't think anyone's going to be, you know, upset by that because it's just, it's, it's, that's what they are. They're not that exciting. I think Sky Rise Sunday goes in B, uh, as does Dragon Driftway, as does, mm, where did I see it? I'm losing them. As I as I keep putting them in, I'm losing them. Maple Treeway, there it is. That also goes in B. What I'm trying to do is just put everything in a in an order and or in in a in a grade, and then I'll order them, and that will just make my make it easier for me looking at it. Uh, Animal Crossing goes into C. It's another pretty standard track one. I do like the Animal. I like Animal Crossing. So I like the Animal Crossing theming, but it is just a very standard track, as is Hyrule Circuit. Riverside Park. I'm going to put it in the lower side of B. I do really like this one. I also got, I think, I might have won or come second on this map on one of my streams. So I do really like this one. Squeaky Clean Sprint. One of the better original, like, new ones. Like on from the DLC, like, so uh, from the DLC cycle. There we go. Just trying to figure out the word in my head. One of the better ones. Definitely one of the better ones. I really like this one. It's quite. It, it reminds me of sort of like micro machines, um, or like tabletop races because you're obviously you're driving through like a like a bathtub and, and it gives that kind of that vibe which I really enjoy. Grumble Volcano goes in C. It's a very standard one. I do quite like that some of like the the road as you go around each map each time more of if the road disappears to the lava i quite enjoy that um choco mountain goes in c again i think it's more nostalgia than anything because i really enjoyed uh, playing nintendo 64 mario kart uh with my family and things like that and sherbet land again another c dry dry desert i th think goes in c and music park i'm going to put in b Piranha Plant Slide goes in C as well. Mute City. I I think this goes in B. I like that one. I like that one. That's another one where it's not laps, it's it's segments. But I do really enjoy that one. And I think the same with Big Blue, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that one. Ice Ice Outpost goes in C, I think. Wario's Gold Mine. I think that's another C. I think, like I said, this middle sort of section is going to be very heavily... Um, concentrated with like the okay and decent maps um, and I think you're going to have 
I think the E and F and A and S are kind of like the uh, the very good outliers and the very bad outliers. Obviously, that makes that's that's not that's not hard to grasp really. But in terms, I don't think there's a, a whole lot between B, C, and D. I think it's more just like the originality of it than anything. Um, or if it's like a remake, say for example, another Bowser Castle. If if it's just it's just a case of which one is better. Um, Piranha Plant Cove, I'm not a huge fan of at all. I'm going to put in D. Merry Mountain is... I quite like the the, the Christmas one, but it's, it's, it is what it is. It's a very standard map. Yoshi's Island's going in B. And if you can see the pattern that's forming with the ones I've left at the bottom, Super Belt Subway, that I'm pretty sure has some traffic as well as trains, but I don't think it's as bad. So that's where that's going. Um, Neo Bowser City is pretty good. Uh, we'll go towards the top of C, I think, for that in the end. Um, but I'm leaving these tour maps to the end because I want to talk about the tour maps. Uh, Daisy Cruiser, another very standard map. Rosalina's Ice World. I like that you can get some decent drifts in, but it's just not that not that exciting. Uh, and do we have any non-tour ones left? We do, we have this one. So we have Snowland on the Game Boy Advance, which I'm going to go with C once more, because I don't, I think it's just very standard. So I want to take a second just to discuss these tour maps, because I liked, I like that they, they added this sort of DLC cycle where you get a bunch of new races and a bunch of new uh, cups and it brought us things like it brought us Wii Rainbow Road, it brought us um, the Bowser Castle 3, it also brought us the 3DS um, Rainbow Road, it brought us some the new original ones like the squeaky clean sprint and generally speaking a lot of good maps were included in this cycle. All of these tall ones are all um, original, which I think is is fine, you know. But oh, also Rock Rock Mountain, very standard C. Yeah, all of these maps, there's just they're just so. Except for I think Singapore is the outlier for the for good. I think Singapore is is good. I think that probably deserves a B really, and I just don't know how to feel about them because. You get at least one in every new cup. So towards the end of it, you're kind of like, well, this is fucking boring. And each lap, so there's three laps on each, obviously. They're not segmented, any of them. But each time you go around a new lap, part of the track's closed off. And, you know, you, you can take it's, you take alternate ways and you sort of essentially it's like a tour of, the, of whatever city it's meant to be. But I just don't find any of them particularly interesting except for Singapore. And when I was playing on stream, everyone seemed to love Los Angeles. But everyone would vote for like these instead of going for random or going for you know some original ones or, or something like that. They'd always pick these like tour maps. And I never understood it because they're just the most bang average things in the world. But I think the fact that there's so many and they become so unoriginal, it's just a different city each time. I think they don't even get into C as like average maps. I think they go at the bottom of D. And I just think, I kind of wish that, considering, obviously, you know, you pay for a DLC season and things like that, I, I kind of wish they'd... A few of them I don't mind. Like, a, a, having one in every other cup or, you know, one per... So, when the DLC stuff came out, you got two cups. I'm pretty sure. Two cups and a character. Or maybe four cups and a character. I don't remember. Okay. That, that's... That, Nonetheless, that doesn't matter. It's either two or three cups, I'm pretty sure, and a character, and a total of 12 new cups. I think that's how it worked. But if they'd have done one per release, so one every three, and then just remade one of the other old ones that was better, then that would have been, or done another, or different, completely different original concept, because I'm pretty sure the Ninja one was from the DLC season. The Ninja Hideaway, and that was good, as well as Squeaky Clean Sprint. But I just think these ones are just so meh that they're just kind of like, what's, 
example, like for the Madrid one, there's a bit where they're playing football. Like you drive through like a football pitch, and then on the Sydney one, uh, you drive through the Opera House, but I, and on the Paris one, you drive under the uh, Eiffel Tower. But I couldn't tell you anything about any of the others really. I know one of them maybe you drive through a river, and I want to say it's Bangkok. Um, but aside from that, there's nothing really that exciting about any of them. And I think because of that, they go into the bottom of D, all next to each other. And when I, the fact I'm putting them in, don't necessarily pay any mind to which one's at the bottom and which one's at the top, because I genuinely couldn't tell you anything about each. Actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to put Sydney Sprint first, because it has some cool stuff with the Sydney, like you drive through the Sydney Opera House. That's pretty cool. But they're all just there in a conglomerate, except for Singapore, which I don't know where I put. Oh, I put it in B because I really like the Singapore one because you go up to the top of these towers. Uh, there's a lot of like, uh, like gliding elements and things, and I just think that one's the best one. Um, but if they'd have done fewer, one every three cups or something with a DLC season. But some of the cups towards the end had two in each one, and I'm like, well, oh, that's fucking shit. That I don't want to play three. Fucking, I don't want to play two in each. You know. But this is like the the sort of where this is where each um, tier is in my opinion. I might change some towards the top. I might put a top five, and if I was going to do a top five, I put DK Mountain, and that's going to be I'm going to that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do top five in S, and then the rest will kind of fill itself out. And we've got a bottom five in E, so it's kind of symmetrical, except for Toast Turnpipe, which can fuck off. Um, so I'm going to put Cheese Land at the bottom of E. Uh, I know these ones have traffic in and I said they really annoy me, but Cheese Land, I just find it so boring. Uh, and I think that's fine. Toad Harbour, Toad's Harbour is probably the best one out of them. Like I said, all of these are going near the bottom of this. I think Rosalina's Ice World has been done a bit dirty by being at the bottom. So I'm going to bump that up. I'm going to put all the Super Bell Subway is going near the bottom of this one. Pirate Plant Cove is going near the bottom. And then I think... The best way to do it is put literally every circuit one um, next. Mario circuits. So we've got the three. So that's the thing. In this game, there are three. There are four Mario circuits because there's the the one I've put in C, which is the Switch original one. But then there's the one from the DS, one from the SNES, one from the Game Boy, and then there's Toad circuit, Daisy circuit, and it's kind of like fucking hell, you know. And I think Donut Plains goes at the bottom. Um, next to them, uh, Calamari Desert next. I think that's a, probably one of the more not boring but uh, average uh, 64 ones. Peach Gardens follows that. Cheap Cheap Beach gets, goes down near the bottom as well. Oh, not the bottom, but goes lower down. Um, and I'm going to put uh, Royal Way Royal Raceway can go down with all the circuits as well. Fuck okay. it. And I think I'm going to put Bone Dry Dunes ahead of um, Rainbow Road. And I think that is a very solid D. I think that's how I would position D, in uh, in my opinion. So we go to C, and I'm going to put Mario Circuit at the bottom. Um, again, it's just another circuit one, isn't it? It's just the, the, the least shit out of all of them. Hyrule Circuit is a bit... It's obviously... Um, themed to Legend of Zelda so maybe that boosts it up just a tad um, I'm going to put Piranha Plant Slide at the uh, the next opportunity Wario's Goldmine because the fucking carts actually do my nutting sometimes um, and then Choco Mountain because it's just very standard, boring not boring but you know it's just, it's just there Hyrule Circuit can go next Snowland I'm happy with um in general, I'm fairly happy with this. Uh, I'm actually going to put Mario Kart Stadium lower because I don't think it's that exciting. Wario Stadium can stay where it is. Shy Guy Falls can stay where it is. They're all. I'm fine with all of those. Um, and I like. I do like Water Park. I would be tempted almost to put it in B, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it in C because I'm just going to stick by my guns really. Uh, so, with the B section, I am going to put Singapore Speedway at the bottom of it. I'm going to put Excite Bike Arena next. 
followed by Music Park, Mute City. Yoshi's Island can go up higher. Um, okay, then we've got Waluigi Stadium, I think, after Mute City. Why is that doing that? I'm very confused by this. Fuck off. There we go. Um, I like the rest of these. I'm quite happy to just kind of leave them where they are. I'm going to put Yoshi's Circuit at the top because of, mainly because of nostalgia. Uh, I'm going to put Sweet Sweet Canyon below Waluigi or above Waluigi Stadium, Stadium and below Yoshi's Island. I feel like just looking at all of this is making my brain turn to mush. I'm struggling. To, I like actually Maple Treeway is going to go higher, but the rest of them can kind of stay where they are for me. Um, that's just fine. And this is where we get to the business end of it, really. We're going to put um, Mushroom Gorge can go below DK Summit if it will let me. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to put this Rainbow Road ahead of Waluigi Pinball. Leave that as it is. Then the top five, I think. Um, Baby Park goes to the bottom. I just, the thing is, this, this ends really quickly. I know it's a bit of a meme one, but I just think it's a lot of fun and it's just crazy and, and, and shit just happens, you know? Um, I'm going to keep Yoshi's um, Valley at number one for me. I think that's. I think the other thing is with that, it's just very much a nostalgia thing. I'm going to keep Rainbow Road for the Wii there, Coconut Mall there, and that's going to be my list. So at the very bottom, Toast Turnpike, it has the worst traffic, it can just fuck off. Um, Cheese Land's just very boring, it's just so yellow, and just, it feels like this, like you just, maybe I'll play it on Monday as part of the stream, um, and just show how bland it is, because everything's just yellow, I generally can't remember too much about it other than it's just yellow. Um, Shroom Bridge is traffic and it annoys me, as does this one. Moonview Highway, and I think that's fairly straightforward to just put Sunshine Airport lower uh, than Toad Harbour. We've got all of the tour maps, I'm not going to read them all out, but they're all the bottom of D, followed by Super Bell Subway, Piranha Plant, Cove, Daisy Circuit, Toad Circuit, Mario Circuit, Mario Circuit 3, and then Mario Circuit, all the circuit maps, they're all just very standard, but I just feel like at that point it's just so unoriginal that it's just... It can't even be considered average. I just think, really, I get, I get that they're sort of like a fundamental map, and yeah, you know, each each iteration of the game has their own version of it. But I don't think you need like the old, all of the older versions in it. Like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six maps all with circuit in the name. Not necessary. Not necessary at all. Royal Raceway. Um, Again, it's a similar vibe, and as is Donut Plains. There's just nothing significant about it. The only thing that puts Calamari Desert a bit higher is the train, and also probably nostalgia from playing it as a child. Peach Gardens, again, is a very and cheap beach. They're very standard. They're very much... They are what I would describe as a product of the time for the DS. Um, but they're just... They're just, they are just all right, I guess. Um, Boo Lake, I don't think they did enough to it to make it more exciting for me. It's the same with Sunset Wild. Um, Rosalina's Ice World, it has a few bits where you can get some, some pretty sick drifts in. Um, but again, it's just nothing massively special. Uh, Electro Dome, I don't remember too much about. Rainbow Road, I think this is the worst iteration of Rainbow Road in the game. And, dry, and Bone Dry Dunes, which is just... It's just a map, in my opinion. Mario Circuit, which they do enough in this one to make it better than these, so that's why it's gone where it has. Um, I don't really see the need to read out every single one, but um, for the for the C's, because uh, they're all just I think they're all just bang average really. The Swamp Ruin ones and the and the water park, I could be tempted. They're kind of borderline on B for me, but I think I think that's pr a pretty deserving a pretty deserving spot really for them and i think the things with so for example with rainbow road being in c there are just two better versions of rainbow road that go higher um grumble volcano has already always given me sort 
Bowser Castle vibes. I guess it's with the lava and stuff. And the same with Sky Garden. It's kind of a little bit similar to Cloud Top Cruise and a little bit similar to Mushroom Gorge in a way. So it's just the worst sort of iteration of them. So they, that's why it's so low. And the same with uh, Wario Stadium. It's just a better version, which is Waluigi Stadium, uh, which is in the bees there. Um, the Singapore, like I, like I said, is the only noteworthy uh, tour map, really. Um, most of these I really enjoy. Uh, anything in B and above, it's just I genuinely really enjoy. Uh, and, I, and I either vote for them on when I'm playing on like online, or these are the ones I kind of go to when I'm playing offline. Um, Say if you know if I'm playing with my friends and I and I like if I've got friends around or whatever, or I know I said it in a stream once, but I went to the cinema that my partner booked for us for my birthday, uh, and we played Mario Kart on the, on the big screen. It was me, my, my my brother, and his partner, and, and my partner, and these were the kind of maps I'd be choosing really because they were they're like the most exciting, the most most fun ones to play. So if I had a choice, anything and being above are the ones I'd go out of my way to play. Um. And in A, I think this kind of makes up the top 10 quite nicely, really. Uh, and Mushroom Gorge and Mount Warrior just miss out, but they are, again, really fun maps. Um, I think w maybe the Mario Kart Wii is kind of where Mario Kart, in my opinion, found its peak. Um, in terms of like the original maps that it had, I think um, the Rainbow Road is the best version. I really like the uh, Bowser's Castle from the Wii as well, but obviously it's not made it across to... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Cooper Cape, I think, is a fantastic map. I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, and top five, I think it relatively speaks for itself. I can imagine a few people maybe wouldn't put Baby Park as high as or Coconut Mall, but I think for me, the soundtrack for that, plus the fact it became, you know, you've been Coconut Mall was like such a, such, it, it was like, it's, 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 that's why I put it so high. And I think Mario Kart Wii is the one I've enjoyed playing most growing up. And the one I did play most growing up, so I think that's probably why it is where it is. Um, DK Mountain and uh, Yoshi Valley at the top might also uh, raise a few eyebrows, but I think aside from that, that's a fairly straightforward standard. Um, I don't think there's too many arguments to be had there, um, but that's my ranking. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know. I'm more than happy to, to discuss different opinions. Um, like I said, on Monday, I will be playing Mario Kart again on stream. Just finished Cult of the Lamb. This Monday, gone. So that's why I'm deciding to play. You know, it's more of like I find Mario Kart to be more of like a one off thing on, on streams. Um, well, it will now be the third time I've played it in, in, in recent times, but. I just really enjoy playing it. I'll play some battle, play some races, play online, play offline. Um, and it usually goes just for a couple of hours uh, and it's good fun. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Um, subscribe. Join me for the, for the Mario Kart stream on Monday. And I will see you in the next video or stream. So take care everybody until then.